MSNBC's Matthews compares Trump's sons to murderer, rapist, and drug user. MSNBC host Chris Matthews is a complete fool. He just compared President Trump family to a murderer, rapist, and drug abuser. This is no joke. Check it. From Daily Wire. MSNBC's Chris Matthews compared President Donald Trump's children to known child rapists, murderers, drug users, thieves, and anti-Semites on Tuesday while interviewing the author of the newly released and already debunked book on the Trump White House. While interviewing Michael Wolff about his book Fire and Fury, Inside the Trump White House, Matthews compared Trump's children to Uday and Qzay Hussein. Reince Priebus and Steve Bannon had an enormous amount of, they were polarized, let's say, in the early months of the administration, and they actually came together, Wolf said. I think that they became quite good friends because they understood that this was an entirely anomalous situation that they had found themselves in, and it was coming apart. I guess when you're dealing with Uday and Kze every day, you do find common purposes, Matthews responded about Priebus and Bannon's relationship to his son-in-law, Jared Kushner. More on Uday Hussein, from Guardian. He was a monster even by the standards of Saddam Hussein's Iraq, a sadist with a taste for cruelty so extreme that even his father was forced to acknowledge that his firstborn son would not be a worthy heir. And yet for all that today Saddam Hussein symbolized the brutality of the Iraqi regime, his powers were severely circumscribed. Although he retained the privileges of the much-indulged son of a dictator, he was shunted from the real centers of power in the military and security services by his quieter, younger brother Qzai, it was not the life that today had intended. Of Saddam's two sons, he was the flamboyant one, towering well over six feet, with a penchant for fast cars and loud and drunken parties, expensive suits and flowing robes, as well as murder, rape and torture. The search for public approbation appears to have taken over in the mid-1980s when Uday first took a close interest in sport. Footballers say he never really understood or showed much interest in the game itself, but was desperate enough for a win that he would phone up the dressing room during halftime to threaten to cut off players' legs and throw them to ravenous dogs. As football overseer, Uday kept a private torture scorecard with written instructions on how many times each player should be beaten on the soles of his feet after a particularly poor showing, Uday's successes carried over in his private life where he had a reputation for ordering any girl or woman who caught his eye to be brought to his private pleasure dome. The palace, a bad taste Arabian Nights fantasy, was decorated with indoor fountains and erotic murals and was in the grounds of his father's presidential estate. A nearby chamber contained huge stashes of drugs as well as an HIV testing kit, according to U.S. forces. Chris Matthews is an utter disgrace. Grace.